Season 5, Episode 1, Six Feet Plunder. Good morning to the caretaker, Bonita Von Wang and Zamps. It's very early in the morning, baby. Even supercomputer like Fibula needs the beauty rest. Morning, Fibula. My Donald say, who is in the caretaker office today, baby? So far, just me and Venus. Hi, Dad, what you do? <laughs> Sounds pretty busy next door, though, so it would be great if we could get a head start before all the pop-ins. Okay, let me guess, you'll want to know how much Sprite power we got in the old ice cream codes. Benita, I flew straight from my coffin to hear the latest report on the town Fright power. Hey, Count Fangula, good timing. Running the report as we speak. Is the result. Phew. <sighs> Is low, baby. Ah, we'd have plenty of fright power if we didn't have to maintain magic barriers around the entire freaking town as a punishment for all our doings last year. It is a grave financial wound, to be sure, but we can stay in the black if we strive to make a very good Halloween this year. You know what? I agree, Fred. It'll be hard, but if our costumes are really good this year, like actually freaking scary, and we collect 30% more scares than last year, we might avoid reduction in services. That's the spirit, babies. If Albert wasn't on his meditation retreat, I would definitely want to ask him about this because... Uh oh! Somebody's in trouble! Here come the poppins! Somebody still ain't signed the birthday card! Not now, Belfry. We're trying to get some work done. Might want to try it sometime. Uh, as town secretary, my top priority is collecting signatures for this here birthday card. Look here. It's got a little googly-eyed ghost on the front. <laughs> I think that's fun. Now come on, sign your name so I can let Gary Gristle know we all wish him a happy birthday. Fine, but then you have to leave, because again, we're trying to get some work done. What y'all doing on the computer? Get away from that computer, Belfry Bat Singer. That's town secrets, of which you ain't privy no more. I'm real sorry, caretaker. I, you know, I, I'm gonna, I'll am rest him now. I'm going to rest him. Come on, Belfry. That's no, okay, uh, Sheriff. No, He's I just doing so. his job, uh, kind of. Uh, Sheriff, you just in time for the birthday card. Nope, I already done signed that birthday card because everybody knows I'm dependable. Excuse me, but did I hear tell of a circulating birthday tract? Pumpkin and I would like to leave our regards. I washed my hands so I could touch the paper. Okay, here's the card. Here, here, here. Take it. Thanks, Belfry. I'll see you at the town meeting. Let's see here now. <clears throat> There it is. Happy birthday, Dash Bonita. Oh, oh no, that ain't it. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. What? What? Happy birthday. I wish him a happy birthday. It's not good, caretaker. Leaving that old piddly message for poor Gary Gristle. He gonna think you don't wish him a happy birthday. Yes. All right, yeah. mm, poor Gary. i give you an example of the kind of thing we're looking for. Uh, you don't and have Now, this to. one's from Miss Weaver. Uh, she says, Boo, were you scared I forgot your birthday? <laughs> <laughs> of course I didn't. Don't be silly, Gary Gristle. Okay, here, just give it to me. I will write something else. Ah! Stupid pens out of ink. Let me grab another one. Surprise! Why are you in my candy drawer, Buddy and Susan? You're all out of candy, lady. We want to sign the birthday card with our kisses. That's a good idea, Benita. When they done, why don't you go on and put XOXO? That means you kiss Gary Gristle on his birthday. <laughs> Y'all in cattle holler. <laughs> Colonel Holler, Colonel Holler. Colonel Holler, Colonel Holler. Colonel Holler, Colonel Holler. Colonel Holler, Colonel Holler. Yeah. Well, 
Colonel Holler. Colonel Holler. Colonel Holler. Colonel Holler. Colonel Holler. Uh. Welcome to your afterlife. <laughs> Chip, before I accept this koozie, which is charmingly emblazoned with the logo of Mr. Fly's concessions business, I'm going to ask you, do you really need this koozie? I can see why you'd ask, Nita, and the answer is yes. The three previous koozies I have collected here at the Community College Job Fair are all different enough to warrant being kept and cherished. This one is 20% puffier than the other koozies, and just look at the silk screening! Yeah, the cartoon fly drunk on garbage fumes is very high quality art. It should be in a museum. And maybe not in my pocketbook. Chip, I have a suggestion for your booth swag collection. Perhaps a career booth is giving away flimsy belogo drawstring backpacks. And perhaps you might use one of these backpacks to hold your many souvenirs from the job fair. I'm way ahead of you, Fred. I've got my eyes on a few different booths that are giving away tote bags. But I'm gonna bide my time until I find the best tote bag. Really? Excuse me, good sir of the Job Fair Career Booth. We're all interested in careers in cadaver refashioning. May we take these ballpoint pens to help us in our careers? Sir, sure. have you thought about donating your organs to science? You won't miss them, I promise. I'm listening. Your organs will thank you for giving them... Oh, purpose. look! Uh, Count Fankula, you didn't tell me you were going to have a booth here. Yes, Benita. I am looking for a couple of new employees to help run the dojo. Aw, look at Terry and her karate gi. I will now demonstrate how to take down some old crud monster with the help of my assistants. I'll be playing the part of the crud monster. You guys are being so loud right now. Hey, Sensei! Watch this! Well done, Terry. But perhaps you should concentrate on handing out the logo keychains. Okay, sir. Nita, I got you some more ballpoint pens. I know you said you needed some. I don't remember saying that. Step right up, step right up. Come get you a tote bag. Hey, Gablena. Hey, caretaking lady. Can I interest y'all in a career in mosquito truck driving? I can also tell you about chili truck driving, notary public licensure, and in my spare time, I do scrapping runs for Ronnie Roach down at the dump. That's a lot to cover in one booth. Yeah, there's <laughs> a lot going on. I got all that road on the side of the tote bag to help y'all remember. To help us in our careers? Yep, to help y'all's careers. I would like three tote bags, please, and two more tote bags. Here you go, baby. Benita, the lunching hour is upon us. Perhaps this is a good time to return to your office. Good idea. We should go get lunch while Chip is distracted by tote bags. Chip, we're going. I'll catch up with you later. Please put my burritos in the fridge. He assumes so much. <laughs> Let's see, I got swag from the Monster Rancher booth, Blood Bank, Ghost Ship Sailors. Only room for a couple more. I just know the right job will call to me. Hey, Chip, clearly. Hey, Sandy the Sandworm, what's going on over here? What's the next chapter for Chip, clearly? Well, Chip, do you like rocks? Actually, yeah. It's a weird story, but I just got back from the Big Yonder, which out there is called the Ne'er-Do-Well, and I had a very handsome rock collection. But we had to dump it because the galloping brain, super fast, super scary. But then I had to help some rock people, and I got a kiss from one of them, and basically, yeah, big fan of rocks. Yeah. Is that a job, though? You could be a geologist. Well, I've only dabbled in science. My background's mainly in broadcast journalism, automotive sales, and specialty retail. Uh, I don't want to exaggerate, Chip, but I've never heard a background more suited to the excavation and study of rocks. I don't know, Sandy. I'm going through what you might call an existential crisis. You see, I've seen things. It changed me. And now I'm looking for a job that'll give me true purpose, you know, but also looks cool. Can geology do that for me? Well, ever heard of a fella named... Transylvania Jones? Uh, potions, the whip, warlock hat? Yeah, I know Transylvania Jones. He's a geologist? Sure, the secret stone, the Mortlake pearl, 
Transylvania Jones and the Bucket of Pebbles? You could be just like him. Geology. Yeah. Sandy, I'm going to think real hard about this. Swag. Go ahead and reach deep down in my sand bucket, and you might find some treasure. Everything in there came from our haunted mine on the edge of town. We'd love to get you out there. Hey, look. You're a natural, Chip. And here is your Eye of Newt, Witchy Wanda. Good luck with your new spell. It's not for a spell. I put these in my cereal. But of course. Take care now. I of new and loop of fruit. I of new and loop of fruit. <laughs> Pumpkin, what's going on over there? You're shaking that thing like a can of spray paint. Miss Granny, I can't get a hold of nobody on my Ouija board. With whom are you attempting to make contact? Surely Minerva can troubleshoot the matter using her ample, shapely brain. Roddy, you flattering fiend. You inspire me to write dirges, my vile blossom. Y'all quit that flirting and help me call Albert. Pretty sure you can only contact the Earth Realm with that thing, kiddo. Albert's still in Curdle Holler. He's just taking a sabbatical, like we said. Oh, look, I got his voicemail. You've reached Albert Ghost. I'm in a meditative trance right now, but I'd be happy to call you back when I've reached enlightenment. Albert, it's your best friend Pumpkin letting you know I love you. Call me back. Pumpkin, you've been here at the boutique all morning. Shouldn't you be overseeing operations at the candy factory? Not really. I got a million hours of PTO. I'm not sure I know what you mean by... Pumpkin time off. I see. Good afternoon, Mr. Giant Eyeball. What brings you to the boutique today? I'm just looking around. All right, Pumpkin, I've got my ether wrench. Who else were you trying to call on your Ouija board? Some people on Earth, and I gotta do some business. But hang on. You've reached Albert Ghost. I'm in a meditative trance right now, but I'd be happy to call you back when I've reached enlightenment. Hello, Albert. It's your nephew and grandson, Pumpkin, letting you know I was thinking about you. And how long you gonna be in that trance? Okay, call me back. Love you. Bye. You know, if you let me install a new chipset on the Grim card, I can get this Ouija board knocking from here to eternity. Why, that's splendid, Minerva. Pumpkin, why don't you take a break from the Ouija board and make your calls on the hand line in Benita's office? No! We haven't quite work hour in here, Halt. Mm. Okay, I'll get out of your hair. <coughs> let me just try ten more times. Mmm. Yes, I see the rock, Chip. It's very impressive. It's also very close to my face. It's called a geode, Nita. It's mostly hollow, but it's got a bunch of crystals inside. And this one here has to be the mother of all geodes. Look at it, Venus! Okay, well, I take it the job fair was a big success. Nita, you're looking at Colonel Holler's very own swashbuckling geologist. Hey, okay, Chip. I can see it. You do like rocks. You are a nerd. Do we still sell tentacle whips at the boutique? Mmm, housewares. By the crystal balls on those trashy diving helmets? Hey, can we not chisel rocks on the town caretaker's desk? It is messy and disrespectful. Hold on, almost done. Oh my god. Nita, I can tell by your crooked lipstick that it's time for you to take a break. You're obsessed with this budget. Oh man, I really do need a break. We've got all these capital projects that are like the main Halloween things that we're supposed to do this year. And some of them are really awesome and really cute and most of them are really important. But do we have enough fright power to do these things? Mm, no. That's right, we do not. Cause the magic barriers. 
Yeah, which is really frustrating because I don't want to disappoint everybody in my first year on the job after I was actually elected. And now I have to figure out how to make spooky cool Halloween stuff all over town with no creeping fright power. Okay, look, we've got a shift coming up at the boutique. We'll just figure out which essential services to cut while we're stacking monster heads. <sighs> Okay, by the way, is it weird to you that I still have to work at the boutique even though I'm the town caretaker? Cause somebody showed me where Batsinger ever did that or had to or- Hey! Sorry, Venus. Yeah, sorry, Venus. Oh, wow! Chip, why is your geode pulsing with an ominous yet bewitching green light? Not sure. But why do I suddenly have an urge to conduct strange experiments born of my own hubris? And why do I feel like dancing in the moonlight and scaling the sheer wall of an ancient castle? Fright, fright power. power! Yeah, Chip, that's fright ore. And the rock you found has to be worth a creeping fortune around here. Yeah, it's a fright rock. A big one. Come on, we're gonna spend all this fright power on something. Terrifying, but also cute. Good afternoon, gentlemen, gargoyles. Well, well, well. But is it the town caretaker? A fancy lady who's so busy taking care of the town that she can't even come inside our business to pick up her own coffee anymore. La dee da, ma'am. You're such a big shot. What are y'all talking about? I was literally in here yesterday, remember? You told me you wanted to show me around the haunted house you set up in the coffee shop for Halloween? Oh, a personal tour. Remember that, Chuck? I think we did say that, Sam. Oh yeah, maybe we did. Anyway, I, along with my official haunted house testers, that would be Chip and Buddy and Susan, our creepy doll babies, who I can't remember if you've met yet, would like a tour of your haunted house, for reasons that will soon become clear. Alright, I'm suspicious, yet excited to show off all our hard work. You got the register, Chuck? Yeah, I'm gonna run the register to help out. Not because I think the haunted house is an embarrassment. Right, boss? That's right. Hey, Rocky. Hello. Buddy, Susan, come on. Let's do this. Please watch your step as we proceed through the haunted graveyard of chairs placed upside down on tables. Oh, I think I see a bat. Or is it several bats made out of coffee filters? Now step carefully across the field of spooky rubber safety mats. There may be some more costumed actors coming through to scare you. I'm not even scared, like, not even a little bit. Yeah, this was supposed to be scary, mister. Sam, I've got to be honest. This is the least tubular haunted house I've ever seen. I'm not getting any thrills or chills. Oh, look. We approach an evil grim reaper and his intimidating hellhound. Boo, children and adults. <laughs> hey, Mr. Goliath, are you enjoying being in the haunted house? Well, it's not my most illustrious role thus far, though at least I am being credited by the Scream Actors Guild. And as we pass by this scary picture of my mother-in-law, that concludes our haunted house tour. Is your heart pounding in excitement? Honestly, I think I'm ready for a nap. Yeah! Can we go to sleep with a doggy? He's sleeping now! No, 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 hold that nap. Sam the Gargoyle, because you tried your best and that's what counts, I would like to bestow this coffee shop haunted house with the fright power that resides inside this hunk of ore. Oh, would you look at that? Ore. My town ledger, if you will, Chip. Here it is. I may have gotten some ketchup on it. Or is that your lipstick? How would I have gotten lipstick on the town ledger? When you overapplied it in the car on the way over and asked me for a tissue to blot, remember? And I said- I didn't blot my lips on the magical town ledger, Chip. Neither did I. And here is the Whirly Twirly Spoon, now refashioned by Minerva into a Whirly Twirly Pin, which is ready to transact. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so now I am dipping my golden pen into the Fright Crystal Ore, like so, and recording a transaction into accounts receivable, like so. Now I shall record a line item to accounts payable and write, Gargoyle Haunted House. Amount, 25,000 zaps. And now I sign with the caretaker in Primateur. My name is Benita Von Wangenkamp, and I approve this transaction. This place just got very catawambus. I can't believe that little hunk of fright or It's a gigantic evil clown! Run! You know, I don't know what I expected to find here or even why I wanted to come out here. This cave looks very much like a cave. Are you bananas, Benita? Caves are filled with interesting things. Stalactites, dirt, echoes. I guess I was just kind of wondering what the deal was with this place. I can't believe that that worm dude found a huge chunk of fright ore out here. And that I just used that fright ore to supercharge a haunted house. Oh, Nita, look at this keyhole passage. I wonder what's on the other side. You know what this reminds me of? Remember the cave of Sassifex the evil robot out in the ne'er-do-well? And Buddy and Susan went inside and got a crystal. It was a quest of friendship for the rock people and- Chip, for the millionth time, I wasn't with you and all that stuff happened. We don't share all the same memories. Oh, I thought you were there. I can almost hear you complaining about the cave being gross. Nope, you totally made that up. Oh, yoink. Check it out, Nita. Another hunk of fried ore, just lying on the ground. Whoa, really? Yes, look, here you go. Buy yourself some shoes, practical ones with good arch support. Maybe some custom orthotics. Chip, I am not going to use this loose hunk of fright ore on something for myself. This belongs to the town. And I can think of a dozen things for the town that I would love to spend this on. There's got to be more of this stuff somewhere in the cave. As an aspiring geologist and geomologist, I can say with confidence that there is something really interesting in this cave. Yeah, too bad we can't really see. We really should have brought lanterns or something. We'll come back with some lanterns and snacks and maybe some hammocks for naps. Actually, we should probably just move in here for a little while to cut down on the commute. Oh yeah, that's the plan. All right, we'll plan on coming back out here. But first, I've got some fright power to spend. Hey, what's that? What's old Pumpkin doing? Shh, it's a Ouija board. And he's got it working! It's another message. Oh, great orange spirit. Thank you for all that good detail about your magic store and your granddaddy. Hey, give me one of them talking dinner plates like Pumpkin got. Very well, Goblina, but it seems only Pumpkin has the knack for conversing with the living. Who's he talking to now? A panel of spiritualists from Massachusetts! Ah, so exciting! Great spirit, are you still with us? Yes, I already said. Pumpkin, be nice to the spiritualists. Spirit, when were you born? First day. And when did you die? Moon, sunshine. Instructions. Please describe yourself. Orange. <laughs> we quail at your image, O oh Great Spirit, and beg you for a prophecy of the future. On Halloween, I'ma come to your house, and we could be best friends forever. Goodbye. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs>
Ronnie, listen, I'm writing the transaction in the town ledger right now. Accounts payable, 350 zaps. Four, assorted tarps for Ronnie Roach dump usage. And my caretaker imprimatur, I'm Benita Von Wangenkamp, and I approve this transaction. Now look outside, do you see your tarps? Yeah. Aren't you excited, Ronnie? Tarps! <laughs> All right. Okay, enjoy, bye! He was really excited, I could tell. Okay, how much of our bonus fright power do we have left to disperse, Fred? 1,500 zaps remain, Madam Caretaker. Excellent! And did I hear you say someone was waiting to speak with me? Yes, you have a fiduciary request from Apple Bob. Looking over his request form, it seems he would like to petition the town for some apples for a Halloween party. Ooh, send him in, please. Hey. <laughs> Apple Bob, what's this I hear about you needing apples for a Halloween party? For an Apple Bob. <laughs> Um, do you mean for Apple Bob, like for yourself? Nah, I'm Apple Bob. I'm running a Apple Bob. Oh, you want to do an Apple Bob. Like the game where you put your head in a bucket of water and catch an apple with your mouth, that thing? <laughs> yeah, that. I think we could manage that. All right, good. I've been using rocks. You were going to bob for rocks because you didn't have apples? <laughs> Yeah. Well, that is very sad. My name is Benita Von Wingenkamp, and I approve this transaction. All right, your apples will materialize at the gymnasium on Halloween Eve Eve. Cool. Thanks. Sure thing, and give my best to ring toss. This has certainly been a productive afternoon, Benita, and very satisfying. Hasn't it? I have been so worried about how we could pay for everything we needed for the town after those dumb barriers took up so much of our budget. But finding this fright ore has been the coolest surprise. Like, what if there's more? We should certainly prepare for the possibility. Are you ready to return to the cave? I was able to make contact with a number of our town's weird and wonderful experts on science, lore, and other matters. I am. Just let me grab my pocketbook. Oh, but one more thing, y'all. Um, while Belfry is at Pickleball, can everyone in the boutique hear me? Yes, yeah, always. Indeed. Yes. Guys, let's not tell Belfry about the Fright Ore, okay? Not just yet. Bonita, he will surely find out when he enters the ledger transactions into the secretarial record. Vides a hesitation. I think I can speak for all of us when I say it's probably due to his history of stealing the town's fright power and then later conspiring to give our fright power to a cosmic slime. Ding, ding, ding. Benita, I understand your caution. While I believe we should proceed with good faith, that does not mean we should jump into the grave feet first. Touche. Blah. Thanks for understanding, y'all. We can tell him about it when it's appropriate, but for now, let's just say no bat singers allowed in the mysterious cave of fright ore. And now that we've got that out of the way, let's get back to that cave. Who wants to help me carry my hammock? Okay, everybody, this is the one. The fright ore is in this cave. A gaping maw, so dark, so fraught with nothing we might all go mad. Mad for riches? Just wait till you see what's inside, Roddy. Hello? Hey, thanks for coming, Henry. We always appreciate your expertise on the weird science stuff. Yes, we know that Henry Vex has much experience with the mine from before you became brain in a jar on top of race car. Indeed. The mine was once a bountiful source of gas for the Vexco Fart Division. Tell us more. Well, Chip, the fart bubble burst. It went up in smoke? It really stunk. We never did it again. It must have really cleared the boardroom. Hey, Collector, catch up. We're about to go inside. I found a rock over here. Yeah, okay, there's more in the cave, remember? I oh, got a hard hat I could borrow. Triple XL if you got it. Batsinger. Batsinger. Belfry, what are you doing here? 
Well, it's a gathering of the town's most prominent figures. The principals, if you will. Uh, well, do you even know what we're doing? Apple Bob said y'all's looking for Fright Crystal. Ugh. Yeah, I'm renting a room from the old man and his dog. We keep the same hours, listen to records. It's okay. Eh, uh, Benita, is it much farther to the Fright Ore? Um, hey, this is it. Here it is, everybody. Fright Ore. I discovered this with geology. The glow is rather hypnotic. Glorious! Quick, collect them in your rock pails. Yeah, so there's still some left, but we think there could be more deeper in the cave. But how deep should we sojourn? In which way shall we go? We must locate a crevasse uh, where ectothermal fluids would have permeated nearby stones to form fear deposits. That's why you're here, buddy. And I know the way! Follow my headlights! Oh, yes. yes, sir! Oh, man! I think we found so much fright ore, it's almost scary! We've not seen a vein like this in centuries. This fright ore is not so potent or malleable as raw human fear, but a fortune nonetheless. We could raise a new castle or repair the town budget! We could make ourselves fearsome, cause mass hysteria among the earthlings. Or change the very color of the sky. Blue! No, green! What if it flashes like a strobe or a big old jack-o'-lantern on the moon? You'll need refineries to harness all the power in these stones! Can I have one? Uh, good point, Collector. We need to talk about how to secure this claim. Chip, don't touch that. I will call an emergency meeting with the town principals. Yeah, and, and we'll need to make some kind of wards around the mine. And Chip, what are you doing near that wall? Well, I think I found some kind of lever mechanism. Whoa, dear. Chip, I'm standing right next to you. Look at me and tell me you did not just pull that lever. Nita, I will tell you whatever you need to hear. Touch everything, don't you? You can't help yourself. It's really true. All right, so this is some kind of old elevator, and I'd like to use the buttons to go back to my house, but I don't know whether to press the lizard, eyeball, or the lightning bolts. I'm looking for up. Where is up? Nita, somebody's been here. I think somebody lives down here. What? What are you talking about? There's a bunch of old-timey stuff down here. Yeah, here, look at this. Some kind of pamphlets or something. An argument against Queensbury rules. And this one's about the so-called convenience of the sewing machine, a.k.a. a thief of women's work. Ugh. What in the world? There's a pipe, playing cards, and bowling hoops if you have time for a quick game or two. Okay, yeah, Chip, somebody's living down here. There are thousands of tally marks on the walls. Like, days, I guess, somebody's been here, and this writing is an old Halloween-ish. That is weird. I know. That's very astute, my dear. Whoa. Oh, hello, Mr. Giant Blue Batman. You must excuse my appearance. I must appear to you as a boxcar tramp with a tin full of corn. You do seem familiar. Nice to meet you, sir. I'm Chip Clearly, a swashbuckling geologist. And this is Benita, the town uh, ca- Benita is fine. We didn't catch your name, sir. Well, I've been called a traveler, maverick, a titan of industry, even a devil on occasion. I used to come through here pretty regular, but I encountered a cave-in and fell into a swoon. I won't trap between worlds. Hey, all this old-timey stuff, the Halloweenish giant bat between worlds? <gasps> You're Roostifer Batsinger! What? No way! It is a fact. 
Yeah, we found your diary. We know you sold out Colonel Holler for some weird get-rich-quick scheme on Earth, and you've been what, like stuck down here all this time? Yes, you measure me well. Belfry's gonna flip when he hears about this. I would speak to Belfry as soon as possible. Oh, but I hate him, Daddy. He's a stupid, silly old bacon head. Percy, how slow you eat. Come out here and say hello. Who is that? That's my son. Percy, you have another son? son? Percival Joey Josh Batsinger. He is only a batling, hence a little Lord Fauntleroy business, and he is in training for the Batsinger dynasty. Da -da -da -da. <clears throat> uh, but you said your name was... Benita Von Wingenkamp. Miss Von Wingenkamp, you have the bearing of a woman, but the stalwart constitution of a man. I suspect you are in charge in some capacity. That's gross, but you measure me well. Ooh, I can tell you are a huckleberry above a persimmon. Hey, is that bad? I don't like her, Daddy. Or him, neither. They're talking like they're the boss of us. Okay, we'll figure this out, but first we have to get out of here. There's actually an elevator in the back, but... I have dreamed of this day, and my suspicions are now confirmed. I am favored by the Grand Supreme. This meeting and my escape we're preordained from the beginning of time. I'm hungry, Daddy. I want chicken nuggets. We gonna have everything we desire, Percy, for I'm the rightful caretaker of Colonel Holler. And now thanks to these here people, I'm free. Nope, 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 nope. If you would shake the rag curls out of your woman brain, you will soon realize I am the caretaker. My term was merely suspended while I was on Earth. Blackest night. Who the devil are you? Oh, y'all aren't gonna believe this. It's Roostifer Batsinger, the creep who sold a bead from our abacus of fate and zooped off to Earth through some weird loophole that apparently involves this cave. And me, Daddy. Tell her to say it's me, too. Oh, Belfry, Daddy's home. Do you know anything about this? I most certainly do not, Miss Von Wingenkamp. The very sight of this pusillanimous flap jaw fills my mouth with bile. That's my daddy you're talking about, you old Baconator. Put up your nukes. He was my daddy first, Percival. But I've got no use for the man. Well, that makes two of us. Well, three, Count Nita. And can I put you all down for a vote of got no use for him either? Rochester, Count Fangula, Mr. Vex? Oh, yes, mm. yes. Uh, me too. And you know what really stinks about this? Besides the stink of corruption, that was a dig at you, Roostifer, is that I am not even supposed to contact the Elsewhere Council to ask them what to do about this traitor who claims to be the caretaker. But I don't care, because there is no way that you are. Chip, car keys. Got him. Fred, Roddy, I'm enacting town emergency protocol 15Z Scythe. Meet me in my office in one hour. Okay, Chip, would you mind rereading the message for the council? Hey, Elsewhere Council, it's me, Benita from Colonel Holler. I know you said not to contact you for at least three Halloweens, but this is major. We have unearthed the traitor, Roostifer Batsinger, who caused the whole beat fiasco last year, remember? But he claims he is still caretaker of Colonel Holler because he never finished out his term. Please advise, he is a creep. Ready to send? Sounds good. Hey, Bloopy. Please say a command. Send message. Please confirm with caretaker and premature. My name is Benita Von Wingenkamp and I approve this energy beam. Yous are not permitted to send message. Please wait three Halloweens. Ugh, the council has fully blocked us from contacting them. Another one of our punishments for fixing all their stuff last year, whatever. Okay, let me just text the sheriff. Let's just arrest Roostifer and throw him in jail. Well, looky here. If it isn't my beloved Bloopy console in the heart of the town's giant iced cream cone tower. How did you get in here? The convenience of a pair of wings, son. Y'all were so busy locking the front door that you didn't realize my little Percy zooped in through the cherry on top and facilitated my access. I did good, Daddy. You're under arrest, Roostifer. Under whose authority? 
The sitting caretaker cannot be arrested. <laughs> Bloopy. Hello. Open admin mode. Bloopy cancel. Please confirm with caretaker and premature. I'm Betty Devon Wang and Camp and I approve this action. Loading. Bloopy. Bloopy Open cancel. Admin Bloopy mode. cancel. Bloopy cancel. Please confirm with caretaker and premature. I'm, I'm Benita Von Wingenkamp and I approve this and action. I approve this action. I'm Benita Von Wingenkamp and I approve this action. I'm Benita Von Wingenkamp and I approve this action. Admin confirm. Bloopy. Delete all user accounts except Bloopy admin cancel. 003. Bloopy cancel, Bloopy. cancel, cancel, Please cancel. Please confirm Bloopy. with cancel. caretaker and premature. I'm Benita Von Wingenkamp and I don't approve this action. I'm Rooster for Batsinger and I approve this action. Bloopy undo. User not found. No! Bloopy, open admin mode! User not found! What? what? No! no! Bloopy, cue up a newsreel of Earth music. I feel like dancing. Please confirm with caretaker and premature. My name is Rooster for Bat Singer, and I approve these tunes. Really, Bloopy? Come on! Where's his daddy? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, sir! Yep, yeah. first. Come on! Okay, keep looking around the office. What stayed, what disappeared? Rochester, the abacus of fate? Yes, safe and secure. It was not bound to your title. Julie, Venus, no disappearing. Look here, I'm erasing Daddy's name. Keep popping up on these forms. Uh, I'm gonna need an art gum or something. Barrier. Office keys, magic pen. Ah, oh, crap! Look! The ledger is disappearing! As we suspected, Roostopher Batsinger is now officially the caretaker of Curdle Holler. It happened on my watch. Benita, these events were beyond your control. I was responsible, Roddy. I have to fix it. With Chip clearly at your side. Thanks, Chip. I saw the sheriff headed this way, too. Plus, we'll get Minerva and the regulars, some irregulars, uh, see Belfry here, and just you watch. We're gonna fix everything. Chip is correct. You must call upon your friends and allies, as many townsfolk as you dare to muster. We'll make a trademark team boutique battle plan, just like all those other times we stopped that slimy, no good Belfry b b toll free cat finger. Well, that's okay, Chip. Let us address the bat in the belfry. Okay, can we trust you, Secretary Batsinger? Uh-uh-uh, no, you can't. I'm gonna take him to jail right now along with his daddy. Sheriff? I'm just saying them Batsingers, they draw you in, mess with your mind. He ain't earned him a white hat just yet. Well, that's true, Sheriff. No, it ain't. Oh, hey, hang on. It's a fact I'm still rough around the edges, liable to horse laugh and carry on with some foolishness. But I do know my daddy. And he is meaner and smarter than a schoolhouse snake. Y'all need my help. All I ask is you keep me in line. Help me avoid temptations from, uh, you know, wild hairs and jewels and such. Pretty good until the end there. Chip, I think you'll find I'm a new man. I need y'all to trust Belfry Batsinger. Hmm. Want to talk about trust. Mm -mm. Okay, you're right, Belfry. We need you. You're on probation. We'll hold you to it, big guy. Okay, but y'all just watch this because I need to follow up on this big bat, baby bat stuff they talk about over at the town square. I'll, I'll see y'all afterward. Hang on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I gotta call Terry. Hang on, y'all. Okay, Belfry, you know your father. What's he doing right now? <clears throat> Scoot over, mule. I need to look wistful out this here window. Oh, my God. Yes, I know the future. Somehow, some way, my father will transform this town in his own image. It's what he's done with everything and everybody he's ever known. Yeah, we met Percy. Ugh. Boy, we cannot let him win. Already, Roostopher's shadow looms over this town we've shaped and shared these many years. We look to you, Benita, to light our path and show us the way forward. Okay. I need paper, whirly twirly pen, and everything in the candy drawer. We're writing a letter. To whom shall we address this letter? To free spirits and anybody who dreams of a kind, weird, spooky cool Halloween town. Who calls these souls to our side? 
Who will stand against my father? Yeah, Nita. What's our name gonna be? Citizens of the real Curdle Holler. <laughs>